welcome to sadguru vlogs youtube channel thank you for subscribe my youtube channel if you not subscribe please subscribe my youtube channel and click the bell button Hi. i'm sikha lecturer in zoology now i am discussing about the life cycle of plasmodium vivax if we take the life cycle of plasmodium vivax it completes its life cycle in two hosts the primary host is female anopheles mosquito whereas the secondary host is man in female anopheles mosquito the plasmodium completes sexual life cycle that's why only we are calling it as primary host and in man this plasmodium vivax it completes asexual life cycle that's why we take man as secondary host okay and now i am discussing about the secondary host in man which the plasmodium completes in man the plasmodium vivax completes asexual life cycle and that asexual life cycle we do not call continuously as asexual life cycle we call the same asexual life cycle as schizogony okay and this schizogony in man it completes in liver cell and at the same time in rbc the plasmodium vivax it completes asexual life cycle which we call it as schizogony in liver cell and at the same time in rbc and the life cycle which completes in liver cell in liver cell is called as hepatic schizogony which completes in man as what here hepatic schizogony and the life cycle which completes in rbc is called as erythrocytic schizogony or called golgi cycle now i am discussing about the hepatic schizogony the plasmodium in man completes hepatic schizogony in two cycles one is called as pre erythrocytic cycle and other one is called as exo erythrocytic cycle pre erythro erythro means rbc before entering into rbc exo erythrocytic cycle that means outside the rbc that means these two cycles takes place outside the rbc that means we in the liver cell in where in the liver cell okay and if you take the pre erythrocytic cycle and exo erythrocytic cycle this total hepatic schizogony was explained by garham and shot according to these two scientists within of an hour within of an hour after the pins when the plasmodium infected mosquito bites the healthy person the sporozoites are released into the blood of man nearly 2000 sporozoites are released into the blood of man because of the biting of plasmodium infected mosquito these 2000 sporozoites through the blood 
circulation they enter into the liver cell and in liver cell they complete hepatic schizogony okay if you take pre erythrocytic cycle the sporozoite enters into the liver cell the sporozoite is sickle shaped this is sickle shaped sporozoite when it enters into the liver cell it assumes a spherical shape and that stage is called trophozoite trophozoite the meaning trophozoite means feeding stage that means it feeds on the food material or the substance which is present in the liver cell and after feeding it increases in size and that is called schizont the moment we call schizont it is not it undergoes asexual reproduction that to multiple asexual reproduction that means uh, the schizont in this schizont stage the nucleus divides into many nucleus and each nucleus is surrounded by some amount of cytoplasm as a result of that nearly 12000 how many 12000 cryptozoites are formed these 12000 cryptozoites are released into the space which is present in the liver which is called as sinusoid after the rupturing of the liver cell nearly 12000 sporozoites are released into the space which is present in the liver called as sinusoid and these 12000 cryptozoites have two chances they may the cryptozoites may enter into the rbc or they may enter into the fresh liver cell if they enter into the rbc they start erythrocytic schizogony or erythrocytic cycle if the same sporozoite enters into the fresh liver cell there it starts exoerythrocytic cycle to complete the pre erythrocytic cycle it takes 8 days time okay and now what we have to think means the cryptozoite which is formed is entering into the fresh liver cell and starting exoerythrocytic cycle when the cryptozoite enters into the rbc it completes the life cycle similar to that of the pre erythrocytic cycle that means when the cryptozoite enters into the rbc it assumes a spherical shape and that stage is called trophozoite and in this trophozoite it feeds on the substance which is present in the liver cell okay and it increases in size and that is called schizont in this schizont stage already we know that it undergoes schizogony that means asexual multiple fission that means the nucleus divides into many nuclei and each nucleus is surrounded by some amount of cytoplasm as a result of that two types of cryptozoites are formed okay the cryptozoites which are smaller in size are called as micro meta cryptozoites
cryptozoites and the cryptozoites which are larger in size are called as macro meta cryptozoites and the macro meta cryptozoites again they may infect or again they may attack fresh liver cell and starts exoerythrocytic cycle whereas the micro meta cryptozoites definitely they attack the rbc to start to complete the erythrocytic cycle or erythrocytic schizogony okay these two cycles pre erythrocytic cycle and exo erythrocytic cycle combinedly called as hepatic schizogony to complete exo erythrocytic cycle it takes two days time okay and the entry that means this is about the hepatic schizogony and other small topic is there called as pre patent period pre patent period it is the time interval between the entry of sporozoites into the blood and the re entry of sporozoites into the blood in the form of cryptozoites it is the time interval between the entry of plasmodium in the form of sporozoites and the re entry of plasmodium into the blood in the form of cryptozoites is called as pre patent period okay that means in pre patent period it completes pre erythrocytic cycle and exo erythrocytic cycle this pre patent period may be between 8 to 10 days if you like my video please click the like button share and comment please subscribe my youtube channel and click the bell button we need your